everyone how are you all doing i hope you all are doing great so firstly i would like to thank you all for all the support it means a lot to me um uh, without your support and uh, uh, feedbacks etc so i won't be able to reach uh, these many views uh, it means a lot again thank you for it now um uh, I think we can get come to the part where we can discuss on uh, or uh, let me explain you the today's session which is uh, how you can uh, convert your legacy to windows now before that we need to understand right what is legacy what is uh, uh, windows and uh, there is one more uh, uh, compatibility that uh, uipath provides that is cross platform so we need to understand before we basically learn how we can convert them that's how a person learns uh, or person become uh, becomes a developer i mean uh, advanced developer right you need to question everything why this is done why this is that or what is this what is that okay so yeah before uh, this let me uh, go back to my home page and here i'll be keeping my screen over here so uh, we all know uh, and this has become a, a hot topic recently that uh, uh, the many of us are, or many of organization are trying to convert their legacy projects into windows now why this has became these huge uh, impact or huge global um, talk now is because uh, ui path let me open the documentation of them so basically ui path is deprecating from windows legacy to windows okay so uh, why they have done this because microsoft has launched the latest uh, version 6 of uh, .net framework so to make it utilized uh, so what they have done they have uh, they have this windows uh, uh, compatibility which is actually uh, is compatible with the newest version of microsoft which is uh, .net uh, uh, 6 version okay so when they say that deprecating from windows legacy what they are actually doing is let me read it out loud so default compatibility we all know earlier we had the legacy right so now that has been moved uh, moved out that is now we have the default uh, project will be uh, windows and it was uh, i i remember uh, when uh, the uh, trial version of 2023 is released we did not had the option of compatibility selecting the compatibility to windows at all or windows legacy at all now they have provided the windows legacy legacy compatibility maybe because they wanted to uh, slowly take this uh, this uh, change uh, they wanted to take this uh, change slowly they did not want to rush it through maybe that could be the one of the reason uh, i assume i'm um, um, assuming now yeah let's not deviate to that let's go uh, and understand uh, what they are saying to us when they mean uh, deprecation so uh, here they will continue to provide us the windows leg- uh, leg- uh, legacy compatibility and uh, uh, but the only problem is that new features uh, with and improvement that are available uh, in in their projects Uh, will only be available for windows or the cloud uh, cross uh, platform compatibility compatibility okay so currently you can create the projects under legacy but in future ui path uh, studio releases are going to come right over there you won't be able to create any projects using uh, windows legacy however you will be able to open them and edit them okay another thing is that organization still be able to use governance policy to allow and the creation of windows legacy project so maybe there could be a uh, what do we say uh, through some kind of licenses i'm not sure basically how they are going to achieve this part maybe that kind of some uh, some kind of governance policy uh, that the organization uses to create uh, that allows uh, a developer to create the uh, windows legacy projects and these are uh, interaction between the ui path uh, uh, the products uh, as well as the uh, organizations okay so uh, 
the windows legacy compatibility will only be deprecated once all official uh, uipath activities are available in the cross platform or windows projects so uh, what they uh, they have given this timeline let me create the, uh, open this timeline so maybe this could be the reason that uh, uh, they uh, have uh, re uh, i mean they have given back the uh, legacy uh, compatibility to us uh, because not all the packages for uh, uh, the activities have been migrated into uh, windows compatibility yet so these are the timelines that they have given uh, so upcoming deprecations so these will be moving out from here from here in the sense the uh, uh the windows uh, legacy to windows and these are the things so i'll attach these urls in uh, the des description of this particular uh, video session you can go through them okay now yeah that's that's come that comes to uh, or the official documentation from ui part now let's go and understand uh, in general what is the compatibility of win legacy windows cross platform as i said windows supports uh, microsoft dotnet version of 6 which is the latest version of microsoft okay and uh, windows legacy it supports as the dotnet version of 4.6.1 okay which is the uh, oldest pretty oldest one and the cross uh, cross platform it uses the same that is uh, same as the windows that is uh, uh, version 6 however it is supported for uh, linux or macbook okay with the chrome based uh, uh, automations okay now uh, it is recommended uh, for all the uh, for all the developers out there uh, to convert your projects from legacy to windows because as they say in their uh, documentation right if we go back to their documentation they say right the uh, the fix or uh, the new improvements are done to their packages are only available in the uh, windows or, or, and cross platform and it's not available in the legacy at all so maybe it's it's a good thing if you start your projects from windows rather than legacy okay and try uh, slowly try migrating your projects from legacy to windows now i'm not saying that will be an easy task because uh, since the dotnet versions are different uh, 4.5 point uh, sorry 4.6.1 which is legacy now it's a six version uh, which is window the uh, writing of the code also differs i'll create a separate uh, a video uh, on this Uh, the troubleshooting method uh, what and all different kinds of issue that you foresee when you try to migrate from uh, legacy to windows okay so that help you, help that's going to help you a lot when you try to move it more away from legacy now let me show you what is going to happen when you try to select the legacy compatibility in here okay in the compatibility session if you select here if you see create a new windows legacy project will be phased out in the near future they are going giving you the warning over here okay so as of now i created a dummy project okay now this is my dummy project here there is again creating a uh, same thing same uh, error message or uh, warning messages in this way now the most awaited uh, uh, part is how you going to convert your windows legacy to windows to do that what you need to do is click, click on your project panel okay now select your uh, files over here okay now here convert to windows click on that okay now what you need to do is uh, there is a check mark for create a new project do check on that because what happens is that if you don't check, check on this it will co convert your current project into windows and then you if you see any issues with the uh, project that you have converted you won't be able to undo it okay so that's why always make sure that you convert them and if there is no issues found then you can just delete your other project okay now click on convert once you convert it your projects all your uh, packages everything going to migrate into uh, your windows uh, compatibility okay let's let's give it a minute or so
now this is checking the validation of the project cleaning the workflows dependency done now if you see here my project got converted okay let me do one thing let me open my windows as well sorry the legacy as well meantime close this uh, close now legacy let me open this legacy meantime this gets open let me open the project directory of this okay now here you see right this is vb uh, windows project same thing in here you should be seeing legacy okay until this gets loaded let me open the windows project json file just to understand the differences between these two files or these two okay the legacy and this one the differences are if you see here the target a uh, framework this is here is a windows right for legacy let it open uh the projects okay project json now it should be legacy so this is one difference and the another difference is this one windows legacy over here and there it's a windows now the third difference is that let me show you i'll go to my orchestrator i'll close this as of now we don't need it sorry about that let me download this file new version uh, let me download this okay let me go to my downloads in download you see here identify random key that i just downloaded let me remove this new git and make it a zip file now this is if file right let me extract here that's done now it's here see here this is lib right uh whatever your uh, dot 4.5 point oh, sorry dot 4.6 point uh, one version it should be it all your uh, code or xaml uh, uh, files are under lib Uh, net 45 right let me do one thing this is windows right let me publish this okay now this is done let me go back and uh, let's So if you see here that is my project so let me download this xaml or the nuget package let me go back to downloads and this into extract here ah sorry about that let me uh, extract do one thing let's me extract to windows yeah that would look good uh, now you don't see if you, if i just go to lib i don't see anything right i don't see my code at all so where is my code is basically it's under content okay so this is the difference this is under uh on the file location in folder doesn't open that's okay right so difference is my uh this is the windows legacy and this is the windows now it comes under uh, content and we have the uh, projects are under lib and net, .net or net 45 files folder so these are the differences between windows and windows legacy okay. uh, now that's all for today i hope this session was informative um, and please do wait for my upcoming very interesting topic that i'm going to cover in next my sessions 
until then stay safe stay healthy have a great day bye bye